Spyro? What up, Spyro? It's been a minute. It's been a oh, bro. We long, were just discussing time. that, yeah. Last time, old Zeno, second floor, five years, six years ago, bro. That's insane. But you always got some weird jank deck, bro. So what do you got for us today? Uh, I have Mimi Boo. Yeah, it'll be you that we play. <laughs> Definitely will be you. Oh, man. This deck is annoying, guys. I did go up against it. And... But let's get straight to it. Cause All right. The real reason why I'm recording this is because I need to review it back so I can know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Mimi Boo. It's a new TCG exclusive yeah. deck. I'm gonna start with uh, the Mimigo stuff first. Of so, course. Mimigo Archfiend. All the Mimigo monsters are all flip effect monsters. Okay. Uh, they're all Earth. Um, they just need I'll explain how they work once I show you all the cards. So that's Archfiend. He's the Fiend. Mimigo Cerberus is the Beast. The one that everybody says it sucks? Yeah, and everyone says it sucks, but I'll explain why I play him at three. Um, Everyone's favorite, Dragon. <laughs> Yo, I hate that one. <laughs> uh, but he's mad cute. And the guy who owns them all, let me go master. <laughs> he's um, the only one that doesn't have a flip effect, right? I no, just, I just he's the only that. one, yeah. Uh, so how this deck works is that Mimi go master gives you treasure chests to your opponent. Meaning, like, you're basically doing what... Uh, it's like kaijus, but not kaijus. You're not attributing any of your opponent's cards. You're just giving them the flip effect monsters. So they reveal, and then you special, and set them. Now your opponent's goal is, if they don't flip these, the field spell, which I get to a second, will lock them from normal summon. Um, there are ways to get your opponent to flip them, or you have cards yourself that you can flip on your opponent's so turn to make them Flip, so then your opponent has no choice but to deal with the effects. Yeah, All the effects of the Mimi Ghouls, you never want to set these to your field. You want to set them to your opponent's field. field, so your opponent uses them, and it gives you a plus effect, and it gives their opponent a minus effect. Like discard one random yeah. card out your hand while he gets to draw. Yeah. So these are the monsters. I'm gonna go into the spells because they'll explain it more more in depth. See, I remember this guy. I got PTSD from this. Deck. Actually, let me explain the monsters first. So. Dragon, if he's flipped on your opponent's field, he regekis your opponent's goal. They all have the same effect that once that their effects apply, they go back to me on my side of the field. So he's a regeki. Indian giver. Yeah. <laughs> Cerberus, uh, I banish the top three cards in my opponent's deck. And if any of those three cards are a monster, I special it to my side of the field. Now a lot of people are not fond of playing this at three, people play it at one. I have a reason because there's a certain card in my extra deck that I play that requires this to be at three. So, uh, Mimigo Archfiend is really cool because if you draw two of him, you can still do combo because you can set one of these to your opponent and then normal summon one and flip it. This is the one that lets you draw, right? Yeah, this is the one that if my opponent flips it. I, your, your opponent, meaning me, I would draw one and they would have to discard a card. Uh, Mimi Boo Master. It's Stratos. He's the Stratos of the deck. Um, <laughs> so basically, when he's normal or special summon, you get to add a Mimi Boo Monster from your deck to your hand. Um, during your opponent's turn, he can target a face down on your opponent's field and flip the face down. So he's basically a Book of Eclipse on your opponent's turn, but he only can flip one monster once per turn. He can't and it's only during the main phase, any time during the main phase, right? I yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, that's crazy because the moment they're summoning, you can flip Dragon Blow their whole board. That's insane. Uh, we'll go to the spells. So spells, Mimigo Maker. This is the... One of the best cards in the deck, to be honest. It's a one-card combo with this one. Yeah, it's a one-card combo, especially with a certain card that I play in here. Um, what it does is you choose two flip effect monsters. Flip effect. That doesn't mean Mimi Boost. Flip effect. So any flip effect monster you can think of, you can. There are certain ones that are good, but I'm just keeping it based on the deck. You choose two flip effect monsters. You reveal them to your opponent. You shuffle them. Your opponent chooses one at random. The one that's at random goes to your opponent's field face down. And the other one goes to your hand. Then after that resolves, you get to special a Mimi Ghoul from hand. 
So, and you can special summon the one that you just got. Right? Yeah, from your hand. Or if you have Master in your hand, however way. It's very gimmicky in the way it works. Oh, that's so cool. Then the coolest part about this card is during your opponent's turn, if your opponent special summons, you can banish the spell and flip any monster on your opponent's board to disrupt them. Which is very, very random. Like people don't people just think I use the effect and sometimes they negate it, but they forget it's there. So they, you know, so it, it's sometimes you have to really know what's in the grave when you face this deck. Um, the card everyone hates is Mimi Gul Dungeon. <laughs> yes, yeah, got it. Yo, this, this is, is like baby, baby Mystic Mine, that's what we call it. And this is so he puts you in a junk dungeon. Locked so up. how this card works is that. You, uh, you activate it, then you can activate the effect to search a Mimi Ghoul uh, monster to your hand. Well, from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Um, then it says on the first text on the beginning of the card, it says um, if, they if, were if, not if, 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 if any Mimi Ghoul monsters that weren't normal or special that are on my field, they gain their, they gain their defense to attack. If they weren't normal or special. Yeah, if they weren't. Yeah. yeah. So basically, for like when, a whole turn. Yeah, so you wait a turn for Master, but if your opponent has faced down Mimi Wolves and they come back to you, they gain the attack because I didn't special them, they were just flipped. They were just flipped. Yeah. Then the other effect that everyone hates is if you control a face down monster, your opponent can't normal summon. That is the biggest thing that everybody hates about this card. So there are ways to trick your opponent into, oh, my field's empty, I'm just gonna flip it, and then you give them a monster with a certain trap that I play, and then they're just like, damn, like I can't almost summon anyways. So that's the dungeon. Uh, and we have Mimi Guru. This is the trap card I was talking about. Three. Yes. Time I thought you was playing because I do play uh, uh, Tactics Thrust in here. So sometimes I, I, I either want to see it or I want to use Thrust to add it and send it. So, okay. Um, what this card does is uh, you can special summon a Mimi Bull monster to your opponent's field whenever, and then you get to book a card on anywhere on the field and book it face down. So it's a double disruption for my opponent. I'm giving them a Mimi Ghoul, but I'm also book a mooning a monster, like maybe, so a, maybe a tuner, or maybe, a, maybe, maybe a lick material that they need. So it works in my favor in that sense. Would you play Book of Moon or Book of Moon? Well, not really um, Book of Moon. I tested, Book of Moon. I tested Book of Moon. It's a little slow because of the format. Format's really fast. Um, I tested Soul and Luna. I don't like it because you it, you have to do A to the B type of thing. Like I, those cards are very irritating. Um, okay. There's another hidden effect of this trap that I don't use a lot. I only use it if I have to. Is that during uh, like during either player's turn, you can banish the trap to bounce Mimi Ghoul cards to your hand. So let's say, for example, my opponent activates evenly matched, and I have the field spell and two Mimi Ghouls. Yeah. I will activate the trap, banish it, bounce all my Mimi Ghoul cards, evenly doesn't work. It just turns off. Because now they, I have nothing. So they, they you know? Makes or, sense. or board breakers like Regeki and Dark Hole, that 10 by play, you can bounce your cards to your hand, even though you are leaving yourself open for game. But, <laughs> but I mean, hey, it, still, it, still, it still works. If they don't gain um, anything. Okay. Okay. Now, now that we're done with the Mimi Bulls, I'm, I'm only playing literally one engraver. One engraver. Yes. Everybody knows the things. I saw now. a video with uh, Yassine, um, and he did a bunch of combos with just having one engraver in the deck to be able to play a certain engine. So you would uh, play this and this. So you would do your your standard Fiendsmith your play. Smith combo. And then when you have the equipped, the Link 1, you send him and the Link 1 to make her. You recycle the light uh, Link monster to special, and then you overlay these two to make M7. So M7, what it, uh, you could do is that you could detach it to add any monster from your game to your hand, whether it's a hand trap, whether it's a Mimi Ghoul. Uh, it's good with the Mimi Ghoul because you can add the Mimi Ghoul to hand and put it on your opponent's field to keep your field spell active. Right, yeah. So that's the only reason why I only play one. I'm not really trying to do all the crazy fusion combos. I'm just using what Yasin said just to play the one of, just to try it out. And it has, and it, and it does work. It does, it does get a lot of people like, whoa, that's weird. Like that just happened. So. At least you didn't have to spend money to get two more. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so 
now we're gonna go to the basic cards, like hand traps and hand stuff. Hand traps? Oh, yeah. perfect. So, three draw. Three draw. Three ash, which you can add with M7, if whenever, because it adds a monster. So, sounds like being lit. And those are the only hand traps I play. Well, actually, I'm lying. You play Imperm? Imperm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> those are the only hand traps. The rest are just generic spells that I think work with the deck really well. See. Um, terraforming for the field spell. Instant fusion for uh, Millennium Ice. <laughs> um, one for one. All your Mimi goes are level one monsters. So yeah. Uh, except for Master, right? Except for Master, yeah. And sometimes you can do one for one to discard a discard an extra uh, Fenrir guy side Fenrir, but you can discard an extra Fenrir special dragon dragon on special searches field spell. And field so spell on. gets you master. Yeah. So so you're not wasting a normal something. Makes sense. Uh, two, two talents. What? Because you know it's, it's, talents. it's talents. Like why not? It gives you talent. <laughs> Uh, three thrusts. This is the one that um, I was debating on playing three talents or three thrusts. I think thrust is better. Thrust is better because of, it's, you can either get talents or set your mini contract. Yeah, I'm playing a lot of uh, normal spells and yeah. imperms. So, uh, and thrust. also the mini trap and the mini maker are also target spells. Right. And the last card is called by because it's called by best, best one, one of any game. <laughs> Forty cards. Uh, yeah, 40 right now. Okay. Uh, what do you actually Actually, Gotcha. One princess. Echo Flip princess and M7, as I said, with the Beesmith uh, combo that I saw on Yassine's channel. Uh, it actually helps a lot. Like, there are times where I struggle knowing how do I get these back to my hand. Um, and this literally, the, the one engraver and these two are like the best. The best. Yeah, so that that's why they're in the deck. Um, this one's the one that, that I saw also on Yassin's channel that surprised me. But this is very conditional, like it has to happen with Cerberus. Okay. And this is the Shadal package. So how this works is like, if you have Cerberus, this is the reason why you're playing three servers? Yes, okay. yeah, just for this in general. Uh, so if Cerberus banishes top three cards and you're and it comes back to you and you have two flip monsters, you can make her. Okay. But if Cerberus hits a dark monster and it comes on the field, you can send the two Mimigo monsters to the graveyard to make uh, the Shadal construct. And then with the dark monster that Cerberus gave you from banishing from your opponent's deck, okay. you fuse the Shadal with the dark monster to make one. So then you have your opponent. Then you have your opponent locked in a, in a. So wait, wait, wait. So, oh, because she's the Shadal. So you're yeah, fused. she's the Shadal, and then the dark monster that you steal from Cerberus okay. is the dark oh, target. Okay, okay. So you you're able to not only make your opponent not be able to normal summon, but they only get special ones. He did it to me, guys. The only reason why I got confused is because wait a minute, I said yeah, I forgot she's the Shadal. Yeah, guys, it's it's really annoying. Like you can only special summon once, and you can't normal summon. Yeah, this deck is bonkers, bro. I believe it. So, basement. I mean, that's that's the, but that's the only reason why I play servers at three is because you can do this play with three servers. If not, was I just seen playing three? Um, well, he just was showing. I think he was it. just showing the combo. I just saw the combo. I was super tired. I saw the combo, and I just remembered it when I woke up. Um, but it was, I, I did like that he added this because the deck kind of struggles with the format. So when you do this going first, your opponent's like, shit, I only can like normal, I can't normal and I only get special, special ones, something. which Fiendsmith does a lot of special. So, but you know. this is not, is it as consistent as you want it to be? Like I said, I I only use this if he banishes a dark. A dark. If not, then I just do the standard, uh, M7. Uh, M7. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Now, and, and sometimes you will hit a dark because most people are playing the Beastials in their decks. So sometimes you might hit you might hit a shifter, um, Beastial, you might hit a uh, Damn, what did you take? A Dia Bell Star. What dark you took me? You took Twilight Lumina? Was it Twilight? It was the Lumina one, the dark the one. The dark Twilight yeah. Lumina, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
See, he did it to me, guys. I just wasn't really paying attention because I was still understanding the deck. This deck is, it looks fun. Some, some um, this is down. this is the uh, standard Fiendsmith stuff. Okay. Uh, Desiree, Desiree, you could make it. It's possible if you have the right stuff in the grave and you didn't get bestialed or whatever. Um, you get the one Requiem, the one Sequence, and the only way the deck ever works is is if you link away two Mimi Ghouls to make her, to make and then you do move, the whole right? combo with the M7. That's that's the only so one. broken. Though. Yeah, I don't know why. They, why is she a common? I don't know. She should have. <laughs> she is so free. She, you can link. One of your opponent's monsters and your monster somehow, right? Or something like that? Something like that, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know she, she, she's... Uh, the last fusion is Millennium. The Millennium. Even though it's a level 1 and I can overlay it for the for the next part of the uh, extra deck, it's still good to go against SP because SP is one of those cards that triggers on response on to something spot. and he helps me take her so then I can have yeah. the same effect. It's true because I had yeah, SP yeah. on him and I didn't even want to activate it. Yeah, so it, it works in that sense. And it's a level one, which works with the Mimi Um Now for the Exceeds, I have Fuko, the bird Fuko. everyone hates. I hate that bird. <laughs> and uh, the Zeus package. Are oh, you playing another bird? You never summon this one. Yeah, this is only if I know I have OTK. Oh, What's cool about the Zeus play is that when you use the trap, um, you can banish your trap, bounce all your Mimi Ghoul stuff, Zeus, the, Zeus, Zeus their board, and just reactivate your field spell. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> this deck is more interesting Cause, cause as it gets. Because you don't want to Zeus yourself. Like, no, no. You, you don't want to Zeus yourself. Because you worst. just bounce everything back. You just bounce everything back to your hand. You Zeus your opponent. You reactivate dungeon. You do the same play again. And now your opponent has empty food while you have a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, the last of the links is IP, SP, and access code. The best three links in the game, literally. Yeah. The best OTK, the best interrupter, and the best link in general. So. It's technically security forces. Basically, yeah. <laughs> That's our lore. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the side deck, which is very. A lot of people get at me for the for not for not maining the first card, but it's I have my reasons for it. But, yeah, I even um, did. I have siding shifter. Um, I didn't want to main it because I've had instances where I face a lot of, um, in our locals there's a lot of Tempai, there's a lot of, um, there is a lot of flu Fluanderies, so mm -hmm. me maining this would just benefit them, it wouldn't benefit me. So I just sided if I go against something else that doesn't, that loses two shifter. Um, that's pretty much it, that's the only reason why. People lose two. Fenrir, mm -hmm. he's super good in this deck, especially when you're going second. Uh, it's crazy because he, he responds to the Mimi Ghoul. Yeah, he res so if I give my opponent a Mimi Ghoul and, and, I, and they flip it, he triggers. Same thing with Thrust, same thing with Thrust Talents. Thrust and Talents, that's... So, th so he's really good. If he gets it to one, it's fine. I'll just play one. I'll probably play Unicorn and Birth and whatever. You know, like, I have options. But right now, just playing him by himself is fine. And he's also good for like one for one discards, or um, if I have two Mimi Ghouls that were negated, I should be both summoned, you know? So it's, it's, he just has his ways of going around the deck. We find useful. Yeah. Um, for back row hate, Cyclone. Mm -hmm. um, it's just because Fiend Smith equips things and they do equip stuff, and so you want to interrupt that. You don't want that to go fully off because then your deck struggles a bit. Mm -hmm. So that's for that. My favorite card in this whole deck, in this whole side deck, is Summoning Curse. <laughs> this is stupid. this card is ridiculous. With, with, uh, this, with this deck. So when going first, you want to always side this in. If you don't draw it, it's fine. You know, just do your regular stuff. But if you do draw it, how this card works is, whenever an opponent special summons a monster, the controller of the card banishes a card from your hand. Now for Mimi Ghouls, you're giving the card to your opponent, but you're not banishing because it's not in your control anymore. It's in your opponent's control. So you're giving your opponent a Mimi Ghoul, they have to banish one. You give them another one, they have to banish again. You give them another one, they gotta banish again. The only thing is I have to pay 500 life points, but if my opponent starts with two cards in hand, I mean, that doesn't really bother me. Like, because you need, you need a lot of cards to break And points. that's if they haven't put you in the dungeon yet. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yo, I hate that card. That card um, and the last one, just because I struggle with Tempai a bit, I, uh, 
I put uh, Threatening Roar for the uh, yeah, guys. thrust targets because I tried Brave of the Ancient Organism, but they have Harpies, they have Lightning Storms. If they Lightning or Harpies, this, I'll just chain this. And then they, yeah. and, and it just... And it just understand something, guys. Yeah. There's a reason why this is really in here, is because this is an hour local. Yeah. But you, you just know that you know, if you're going to major events, side differently if you feel like you should. You yeah, yeah. This is... This is the, I'm, I'm basing this side off the locals that I play. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, when you go to like YCS and stuff like, it depends on the meta. We haven't had a ban list yet either, so we have no idea. So I'm just going based off what I faced. I faced Snake Eye, uh, Snake Eye Feet Smith. I faced Tempai, um, Fluwanderies. Um, sometimes we have the random people that show up here with. Um, oh yeah, um, Ubel is a big Ubel one. Is the party the I will say here. that Ubel is the hardest deck to face with playing my deck. Because you can disrupt them with the Beastsmith engine, but once Dragon blows up the board and hits your bell, your bell has a bunch of effects that trigger, and so you're 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 ending up getting the, getting Does irritated. Your bell have to hit the no, it just has to be destroyed. Even the so, shifter, damn. Yeah, because even if I shifter them and I use Dragon and I blow up the board, they still trigger because they they trigger on destruction, not in grave. So yeah, they, that's why they play shifter too. That's why I side it as well. So that's pretty much it. But if I can, I, I also side for any roar on you though. So they don't, so they don't attack master when he's at three thousand, and then I take the damage for it. And then you so take more I damage just stop, than pain. I just stop them with this, and then try to make Zeus next turn and try to end it as fast as possible. Because that's the only way I can do it. Has <laughs> it been confirmed that we're getting more support with them? Yes, I believe. I like this better than the, the next. I think the next. The next set and the set after is the la is those two waves. That's it. I like it more than Ashen. Ashen did? Or Ashen? I, I bought all the Ashen cards. I was so Ashen. disappointed. I was so upset. I was really upset. Because like, I really... They had a lot of potential. You know me. I, I like TCG exclusives. I, lo I love the decks. But um, when they're really bad, I get really upset. The only ones that I like is Mimi Ghoul, uh, Spirals, Spirals, and, uh, That's how you guys and Libra Mancer. Guys. I like my favorites. Libro Master, I got a profile for you on that one, bro. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, I've, just been, they're cyber I've been testing. I've been trying to use Fiend Smith with Libro Master, but it's weird. It's a weird dynamic that it has. Because they do have Fiend. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. but, All right, so no changes right now? Since you just uh, no, you like this? This is probably the best version of the deck right now. Uh, you, do you highly recommend them picking it up? Yeah, I mean, it's cheap. It's affordable. Unless you want to go high-end. Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> sounds so... Like me. But uh, I think this is the best rogue deck in my opinion right now from the TCG exclusives. This is the best one we've had. Better than Spirals? Spirals, I can't put Spirals in that category because they were tier zero. That's okay. a whole different category. But for them, I think this is a good start. Because okay. when Spirals started, they were like, okay, what do I do with this? This is more of like, okay, I get what you're trying to do, but what can you give us after this? Thank so you. I'm hoping that they don't do what they usually do with all TCG exclusives and make a fusion. Like, no, I think they could I, do I, like I, you said, link I, one. I feel like they could use a link one that's only for them, not generic, so then everybody's splashing it everywhere. It's link summon search for any like, flip you know, monster. Like, like, it you comes know. to problems. No, I, I would like to be honest, my opinion is if they had a link one that on summon gives uh revives a Mimi Ghoul master to your dungeon. field or searches dungeon or gives your opponent a Mimi Ghoul face down on summon. Or, or searches dungeon and gives you a opponent a monster. Yeah. It does both. But it has to be Link Summon with a Mimi. mimi with a Mimi Ghoul, yeah. yeah. Don't this, not sticky things, guys. Yeah. Or maybe like it's a Link that gets extra effects of Masters on the board. You know, you talking like, about like Sephira or Sophia? Yeah. The trap tricks? Yeah, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Mm, you hear that, Konami? But if they just make it a pure flip effect deck where we just use generic stuff, it, I'm fine with that too. I like the deck you convinced me. Now I, have, now I gotta go home and look for some stuff now. Alright, um, any shout outs, brother? Uh, what to you, man? I haven't seen you in like. God knows how long, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know, I know. But anyway, guys, there you guys have it. That was Spiral's Mimi Ghoul uh, deck profile. Guys, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, and we all hope to see you at the next video. Later.